Good morning, mighty men. In Maltari's book, Like a Mighty Wind, he tells of the Holy Spirit visitation that came to his church in Indonesia. He says this, I remember well that night of September 26, 1965. About 200 people of all ages were gathered in our church praying together. As we were praying, suddenly something strange took place. He goes on to say this, As I was sitting next to my sister, I heard this mighty rushing sound. It sounded like a small tornado in the church. I looked around and saw nothing. I turned to my sister. Do you hear a strange noise? I asked. Yes, she replied. I do. But forget about the sound and let's pray. She began to pray, and at the same time I heard many others begin to pray. You must know that in our church we always prayed in absolute order, one by one. So then he says, Oh, my dear Jesus, what's going on in this church? They have forgotten the written order, I said. Then I heard the fire bell ringing loud and fast. Across the street from the church was the police station and the fire bell. The man in the police station saw that our church was on fire, so he rang the bell to tell the people of the village to come quick. When they got to the church, they saw the flames, but the church wasn't burning. Instead of a natural fire, it was the fire of God. Well, as a result, many people received Jesus Christ as their Savior and were filled with the Holy Spirit. That's what prayer and revival can do. Our scripture reading today is in Samuel 8 through 16. I'm going to read in chapter 10, and in this passage, Saul is anointed prince over Israel by Samuel. Then Samuel prophesies this to him. After that, you shall come to Gibeath Elohim, where there is a garrison of Philistines. And there, as soon as you come to the city, you will meet a group of prophets coming down from the high place with harp, tambourine, flute, and lyre before them, prophesying. Then the Spirit of the Lord will rush upon you, and you will prophesy with them and be turned into another man. Now when these signs meet you, do what your hand finds to do, for God is with you. Then go down before me to Gilgal, and behold, I am coming down to you to offer burnt offerings and to sacrifice peace offerings. Seven days you shall wait until I come to you and show you what you shall do. When he turned his back to leave Samuel, God gave him another heart, and all these signs came to pass that day. Father, teach us to move in the Spirit in the way these prophets moved through worship. Show us how to meet you in the high place like these prophets and then come down and to minister in power and anointing so much so that those who are around us would come under the power of your glory. Lord, what your church needs today is the kind of Holy Spirit encounter that would empower us to do whatever our hand finds to do because you are with us. And Lord, we're asking that we would be like Saul in this story, whose heart was changed by a transforming encounter with you. And Lord, like that church, Lord, we're asking that you would set us on fire, set your church on fire in these days by the power of your presence and encounter with you, we pray in Jesus' name, amen. If you like this video, subscribe, follow, and share it. Shalom.